I was born in Hollywood, California, strangely enough, not in Oklahoma. My dad was one of the original Okies that went to California in the late 30s. He got a job at the Hollywood Athletic Club, was a personal trainer for John Wayne, Robert Mitchum, the original Tarzan, Johnny Weissmuller. John Wayne took my parents to the Hollywood Presbyterian Hospital where I was born and not only paid the bill, but gave me a silk baby blanket that I've still got today. My father did not push me into wrestling. He was gone most of the time, uh, especially in the spring and summer months, traveling as a professional wrestler. Uh, I got into wrestling because of the people I ran around with that wrestled uh, for our junior high as well as the YMCA downtown and wrestled uh, through junior high and high school with a total of two losses. The high school I went to, Tulsa Central, at that time, and I believe still so, produced more national champions than any high school in the United States. Coming out of high school, I only had one college recruit me, and that was Oklahoma State, Myron Roderick. Uh, OU knew that I was going to go to OU, so they didn't bother even recruiting me. Because of my dad and my uncle, uh, they knew that I was going to go to OU. If you throw me in there, my family has had eight All-Americans, six national champions, and two outstanding wrestlers at the University of Oklahoma. I just took it for granted that as I got older, I would get involved in wrestling and I would be a state champion and a national champion. I always tried to keep up with my dad. He was a two-time state champion in high school. I was only a one-time. He was a three-time national champion in college. I was only a two-time. However, we both won the Outstanding Wrestler Award. So I was getting, I got close, but I never matched him. And part of this is probably due to the fact that I only wrestled three semesters in college. My sophomore year, I had a severe neck injury. My junior year, I had a leg in a cast for eight weeks. So I finally get to come out uh, second semester. My senior year, I broke my collarbone. So I missed that whole first semester. Five weeks later, I walk into the wrestling room for the very first time on a Wednesday. We're getting ready to wrestle OSU. So they wanted me to wrestle, so I did. And I think four weeks later, I'm in the national tournament. And I'm wrestling Bobby Douglas in the finals. I had the misfortune of uh, wrestling Mickey Martin in the finals of the national tournament. Um, I was shocked by uh, a couple of things. I think within the first minute he had scored eight points on me with uh, near on my opposite leg. And um, I remember that most of the match I spent trying to get my wrist free from him. He had an unbelievable grip and um, he was in excellent shape. I thought I was in real good shape until uh, I uh, found myself eight points behind in the first period, I think. And, it was downhill from there. I, I was playing catch up. And I wasn't very good on my feet. I was always trying to pin, and I could never get my cradle locked up. And I could, I could really never get him in a pinning position. And uh, I spent most of the match uh, fighting off my back and uh, fighting from behind and trying to get my wrist away from the strongest grip I'd ever experienced in my life. Um, I shook hands one time with Dan Hodge, and I, I'd never felt any like that but I remembered that Martin had something very similar I could never get my hands free from him and it was uh, it was the worst beating in wrestling I'd, I'd ever taken and it motivated me to the point where I wanted all I lived for and dreamt about was having another shot at Mickey Martin uh, which I never got after college I went to work in the business world <clears throat> for about seven years I got my first degree in accounting and then I went to law school. I got a call from the superintendent of schools in Norman, said we needed a coach. And I said, uh, I'll see you Monday. I quit my job that Friday, moved back to Norman, 
got my teaching degree, and started my coaching career. Uh, during high school, I coached three state championship teams. I had eight state runner-up teams. I coached briefly in college at South Dakota State University. My first year there, I was voted the Rookie NCAA Coach of the Year. What impressed me about Mickey while working with him at South Dakota State was uh, not just uh, him as a great technician, but the confidence he exuded, the confidence he uh, instilled in his wrestlers, uh, which was the same confidence that he had as a competitor. The greatest thing I learned from wrestling, and I preached it to all my teams, was the setting of goals and the striving to attain these goals. And it really didn't matter if you wound up being a national champion or a state champion or whatever, as long as you put everything you had into it to achieve these goals, learning how to work towards what you want, to sacrifice and just pour out your soul to try to become the best you can be in what you're trying to be. To be inducted into the National Wrestling Hall of Fame to me is just unbelievable. I can't tell you how much it means to me and my family to be part of the Hall of Fame, to join my father. It just means so much to me.